Hello there, my name's Card. I'm a long-time progressive community organiser and activist. And today, I just want to briefly talk about a reactionary dog whistle that's been around for a while now, as well as what it really means, who's using it, and why. For those of you who might not know, in politics, a dog whistle is a word, a phrase, or a symbol which seems perfectly innocent and innocuous to most people, but which really communicates a more sinister hidden message to those in the know. Additionally, there will also be a playlist of videos of mine, linked at the top of the description, which goes into detail about all sorts of reactionary dog whistles and how to spot them. Today, specifically, I wanted to talk about highlighting particular people blue in photos online, as well as what I mean by that, and how it's become a contemporary reactionary signal and meme of sorts. A lot of the online far-right congregate most of the time on dedicated reactionary forums and image boards where they're free to be as openly bigoted as they want to be. But whenever they're on the normal, regular side of the internet, they'll often reuse a lot of the same bigoted, racist, homophobic, transphobic jokes and memes and talking points they would with other reactionaries, but they'll couch it all in obfuscating language and obtuse references so that it flies over the heads of most normal people. If you consider yourself a socially conscious progressive, you should try to familiarise yourself with a lot of the general references and talking points online reactionaries will bring up, so that you don't let them fly under your radar when they're trying to spread their ideology or signal their beliefs to one another online. After all, knowing is half the battle. In particular, a lot of the reactionary content you might see posted online that you should be aware of are hateful anti-Semitic jokes and tropes and conspiracy theories that have simply been lifted straight from neo-Nazi forums and the like, and been given the slightest veneer of obfuscating abstraction away from what they really mean. One such piece of neo-Nazi forum iconography, which has increasingly begun to appear on mainstream websites like Twitter and Facebook in recent years, is where someone will post a picture of a group of people, or a compilation of headshots of people in an organisation or a group or similar, and some of the people will be highlighted in a shade of blue. This is a covert way of signalling that the blue people are Jewish, or supposedly Jewish, and of course that the person posting the image thinks that this is a bad thing. For example, here's an image I found recently, which at first blush might just appear to be the hosts of uh, the American news network MSNBC. Note how some of the people here are blue. This is actually a neo-Nazi meme of sorts alleging that MSNBC is infested with Jews but most people wouldn't pick up on that. There's thousands of these sorts of images floating around out there online, and most people wouldn't intuit what they mean if they saw it, but this is one of the little veiled ways that anti-Semites signal their beliefs and share their propaganda amongst themselves online. It's worth noting, of course, that often who gets highlighted in these images as being Jewish isn't actually Jewish, it's not necessarily all that accurate in the first place. Nor is any of the anti-Semitic conspiracy theory nonsense about Jews secretly infiltrating every organisation true either. But anti-Semites would like you to believe that actually, seemingly about half of everyone with a job anywhere is actually Jewish. Like a lot of reactionary talking points, it starts to fall apart when you question it even a little. But just keep in mind what this blue highlighting stuff means. If you ever happen to see someone online posting this sort of stuff, seemingly all apropos of nothing, at the very least now you know why, and it should register to you as uh, something of a really big red flag. It's always good to be able to recognise alt-right messaging and signalling like this, so you can spot it, denounce it, explain why it's wrong and bad to others, and remove the people posting this sort of stuff. That's all I have to say today, I hope it helps. Once again, my name's Card. If you want to hear more from me, especially more about emerging or obscure reactionary dog whistles and how to spot them, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube page, or just take a look at my other videos. Either way, goodbye for now, and stay safe out there.